Okay, so what you want to do is go up here to create design, part builder. You want to select structure and whichever one you're using, the with frames or without frames. I'll go to with frames and select the concentric cylindrical structure and hit this edit button here. And this will open this up over here on the size parameters. You can right click on it and you want to edit configuration. So here you want to search for barrel pipe clearance. You can see here that by default it's it is set to constant. Okay, you want to change this to list. All right, once you change that to list, you can come up here and set the value for that. Now go, let's go back to that uh, calculation or parameter, and it's SBPC for barrel pipe clearance. So for values, look for SBPC. You're going to pick in there. And you're going to hit the edit button. Hit that edit button. And I usually add something like point, uh, zero point zero 0.01. That way you can adjust it to nearly nothing. All right. So once you do that, close that, save the changes. And yes. And you might get a um, a thing that says you don't have permission to, to do that. So what you'll have to do then is go into your uh, C program data, Autodesk, uh, Civil 3D 2024, ENU, Pipes Catalog. You can right click and go to Properties and security and make sure you add your name in here with full control then you'll be able to save that i don't know why they started doing that but anyway that's how you'll you'll save it so once it's saved then you're going to type in part catalog region and then s to regenerate the structure so once that's done and you, you should be able to adjust it. Um, if I go here. Uh, whoops. Let me swap that for the. I believe that's no frames, by the way. So I changed the wrong one. <laughs> Swap that part. Uh, but if you look in here in the structure properties, you'll see that you have your barrel pipe clearance that you're able to select that value now. And that will allow you to change your. Uh, You know, set this to false, and then you can change that insertion rim elevation. That's it.